Here we go. Again? Are you kidding me? Anybody in there? Can you help a guy out? James. I mean, did you have to be an electrician to play these games? James. Ones? Yeah, Mom, I'm down here. Why are you down there? If it's too cold for school, it's too cold to hide down in the basement. I'm not hiding, Mom. It's fine. I got my layers. <laughs> well, that's what I'm always saying, honey. You've got lots of layers, and give those kids Mom. time, and they'll see just how much. Really, Mom, not right now. I'm trying to fix this thing. Well, it's still a weekday, honey, and snow or no snow, they won't close the office. Just wanted to find you before I head out and make sure you're okay. I'm fine. Honey, I'm just trying to help. I'm fine, though. Okay, but you'll meet up with your study group? What do you mean? Elisa's mom texted me, says you're all supposed to meet at the coffee shop. Mom, why are you texting her? That's so weird. Honey, she texted me. Come on, give me some credit. Your secret's perfectly safe. Sure. Though, like I said, you don't have to keep it a secret forever. She's such a sweet girl, hon. Before you know it, you'll be off to college and... Mom, really, you should get going. I'm fine. You'll meet up with them then? I don't know. I'm going to try to fix Uncle Steve's old game. I think I'll just study here. It's just going to be Elise and that guy. I don't know what to Okay, honey. Don't play for too long. All right. We'll see you, Mom. Okay, hon. Got to run. But get outside if you can. All this ice, it looks like magic out there. Sure. All right. Let's hope there's some magic in here. Here we go. Kind of loud, kid. Some of us are coming off a hot fight with the missus. Oh my goodness. Sorry, it's just, it's the most wonderful day and I'm off to see the princess. That's great, but your sing song's giving me some kind of migraine here. Might as well jump in my head while you're at it. Do you mean it? You got a screw loose, pal? You some kind of psychopath? Heavens, no. You just mentioned jumping on your head. That's a turn of phrase around here, kid. Like, go eat a shroom or crawl down a pipe. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Your goodness. I think I've had enough of your goodness for a few extra lifetimes asking to jump on people's heads. Oh boy, you know, it really doesn't sound too nice when you say it like that. Somehow I... <sighs> Never mind. Okay. You know, I really shouldn't say it. It wouldn't be kind. Right, that'd be unlike you. But you do deserve the truth. I don't. Well, if you insist... I don't. See, when you said you wanted me to jump on your head... I don't! It was almost like jumping on your head on your whole little body, like it was what I was born to do. You know, like it was my destiny. I really gotta get going. Wait, I know you must think I'm crazy. Kid, I don't think, I know. But look, I don't wanna walk all over you, but what if that's exactly what I have to do? A lion's gotta chomp and a tiger's gotta chew. Maybe I should stomp all over you. I miss my you. wife. Wanna knock you? 
twist my leg. What's a shark to eat when the ocean's feeling blue? Should I park my feet all over? Darlene, I'm coming! Maybe, maybe if I look deep within, I'll see another path, another future. If we agree that stepping on your head is such a sin, well, couldn't we avoid the pain with bandage, stitch, and suture? This can't be normal. I don't want to walk all over you. Who's to say what anyone is meant to do? A tiger's kind of cuddly if you look at it askew. We could be so bubbly if we talk. And I don't walk all over you. <laughs> Is it over? Do we really have to sing through these things? <laughs> <laughs> you hysterical little urchin. I can tell. We're going to get along famously. Hey, do you call all your friends urchin? My name is Maslow. Maslow? Hmm. Huh. Are you feeling all right? What do you mean? Oh, you just, you look sort of grumpy. That's my face. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I thought you were sort of perturbed. Well, now I'm sort of perturbed. Oh, gosh. Where are my manners? See, my name is... I know who you are, kid. Your name's been buzzing around the neighborhood. It has? What have you heard? Eh, hey, something about you and some princess in some deadly dungeon. Princess? That's it! Saving the princess, demonstrating my valor, proving my undying, tireless love. That's my destiny. Boy, kid, you Don't really jumped. You see, jumping on your head wasn't necessarily Again, my destiny. Again, with the jumping! But I'd jump on a thousand heads that stood in the way of my true love. This is where I leave you with your thoughts. Wait, <laughs> Master, please. Who took her? What took her? And if a book of kid! I wasn't paying attention. Us goombos aren't really known for our keen long term memory. Did you say goombos? Yeah. Oh, I thought you were called Goombas. By bigots. <laughs> I'm sorry. Eh, don't mention it. If you would have meant harm, you would have done it by now. Does this mean what I think it means? Best I friends? I tolerate you. <laughs> well, it's been interesting, kid, but I gotta go do some damage control with Darlene. Wait, wait, Maso, please, you gotta help me. I've gotta find a princess. Kid, I like your ambition, but I don't know what to tell you. She's... Hard to get. Well, what would you do if Darlene were trapped in some evil dungeon, likely never to return? Don't get my hopes up, kid. <laughs> my advice? Enjoy the single life. You don't get it. She's my sweet berry sugar plum. <laughs> Go ahead, laugh. Darlene calls me her sweet berry sugar plum. <laughs> really? I'm quite adorable for a goombo. I'm sure. See, I knew it. From the very first moment. Okay, I'll help. <laughs> Let's go tell Darlene. over this till I'm blue in the shell. I can't tell you nothing unless the boss tells you himself. You think I'd risk getting on his bad side with these good looks? Craig, I'm not asking you to divulge his master plan, but I must know why I'm Princess, the lips on this finely chiseled face are sealed shut. Now that would be a dream come true, Craig. What have you been telling her? Uh, I, I haven't said a word, boss. Honest, uh, I wouldn't cross you. I'm my mother's favorite son. Why I wouldn't you want- you're an only child. So you have been talking. This is the last time I let an oaf like you she run my- told me nothing important. Your peons give you more loyalty than you deserve. Oh, that's awfully rich, princess, coming from you. How dare you talk loyalty? You couldn't show the world gratitude if your life depended on you it. You don't know a thing about me. Not anymore. No, guys, this is seeming a little personal. I'm gonna leave you You're too staying long. right here, Craig, and don't begin to think I'm finished with you. Now, where was I? You mean what line? No, I don't mean what line. You've destroyed my train of thought, Craig. Do I pay you to decimate trains of thought? Uh, I'm more of an unpaid intern, sir. <laughs> intern? Intern? I'll scorch the shell off your back and the snout off your face! Oh, sir, please, not the nose, really. It's the nose of a model. But I do remember your train of thought. You were saying that the princess, that she couldn't show the world gratitude if her life depended on it. Exactly. Thank you, Craig. You couldn't show gratitude if your life depended on it. And guess what? 
Now it does. You can't possibly mean that. I know what I mean, Rose. And unlike you, I mean what I say. Browser, please, stop this. Browser? Wait, I thought your name I don't like breaking this to you, but you're dyslexic, Craig. What? <laughs> That's why you never work in the office. But I thought I was just getting promoted. You'll have to get used to disappointment. Life's full of this stuff. Oh, this is complete madness. My kingdom will not stand for this wanton kidnapping. Tell her, Craig. Boss? Do it. Well, your highness, your kingdom doesn't know about any kidnapping. They heard the royal decree this morning and they're jumping for joy. What on earth are you saying? Well, as far as the public knows, you've come to this castle as our honored guest. And also as boss. <clears throat> You're here as the boss's bride. What? Well, fiancé, technically. The wedding's all set for midnight tonight, and there was no I, that, 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 That's enough, Craig. You're lying. This is complete madness. No, Princess, the only madness would be to resist your most certain fate. Come tomorrow, your loyal little kingdom is mine. Oh, they'll see through this. They'll resist you. They'll see through Those this deception. Those guns, they're already getting out the wedding bells. Face it, Princess. You've been beaten. <laughs> now, uh, Craig has got some very lovely bridal gowns to go over. I don't want to look at dresses look great. I'm right here. I don't blame you, Princess. Boss. But you don't seem to get it. You have no choice, no say, and not a hope to escape. That's where you're wrong. I do, and he's coming for me. Before you know it, he'll be banging down your doors. You'll be begging him for mercy. He'll step on your every last guard as if they were footstools. He'll ring down your kingdom. Silence! <laughs> Perhaps you've forgotten, Highness, but my kingdom is a thicket of man eating plants, dark catacombs, stormy waters, and vicious monsters who do my very bidding. Your pipsqueak of a man will never reach my gates alive. This conversation is over. <laughs> Enjoy your afternoon with Craig. They say the wedding is the best day of a girl's life. Try not to get too excited. Now, I was thinking more of going with an ivory colored dress. <laughs> <laughs> Buddy Marcus? Yep. Wait, not my neighbor Vic. I mean, I resisted the urge, but yeah, I kind of wanted to squish him. <sighs> Somehow Darlene's got the impression you're a sweet guy. Oh, Maslow. Darlene really is the best. You know, I didn't even want to jump on her head. Boy, it really is like we're exact opposites or something. <laughs> <laughs> hey, as long as we're best of friends, I don't hey, care. Hey, 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 shh! We gotta watch ourselves, kid. This is the place. The vile den of the beasts? The very one. Now, what do you know about the Mushis? Only what you've told me. I've got to say, it's almost hard to believe. Well, believe it. They're the most terrifying and relentless monsters you'll ever see. Or never see, hopefully. But that's the thing. Even if you don't see them, you're not safe. It's the sound you got to stay clear of. Is it terrible? It's horrible, kid. Like the cry of a hound of Hades on the verge of a fresh kill. Boy, you've got a way with words, Maslow. Just be grateful you're listening to my dulcet tones and not the sound. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> no. This, this can't be happening! What is it, Maslow? It sounds like the giggling of an innocent child. That's no innocent! It's the... It's the... It's the Mooshies, kid! They're made of mushrooms! Cover your ears! Wait, Maslow, I know I'm new around here, but really, it feels like we're safe. 
kid, these guys are kicked out of the toughest neighborhood in the kingdom. If they're too much for the fire breathers, they're too much for us. Uh, no. But sir, we were kicked out of Thundervale. No sir. No sir. No sir. No sir. We left on our very own to come back to the place we call home. Sunnyside, the dearest and natively sunniest hill, out of eyeshot and earshot of the no goodness monster and all his decrees. Sunnyside, where the light is a breeze. <laughs> Nassau, I really like these guys. I mean, the synchronization. <laughs> More like stinkinization, kid. We can't let ourselves be fooled. This is a tough gang of thugs. I heard the princess handpicked him to be her bodyguards. The princess? Have you seen her? 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 Yes, but not in a while. Not in a very long while. In an hour and thirty-four minutes! <laughs> Seriously? We're in good shape then, kid. Good, good shape. shape! We're in terrible shape, sir! You see, it was our duty to protect her from each and every danger. And, and we failed! Come on, please don't cry. Where did you last see her? Uh, right about where you stand, sir. She joined us for morning song, as usual. What's morning song? Stay on target, kid. Did you notice anything <laughs> unusual? Anything out of the ordinary? The princess is extraordinary, sir. Right, but besides her royal sparkle? There is nothing strange, sir. After morning song, she left accompanied by two of our bravest to go pick some fruits and flowers. Why did she need bodyguards if she was picking fruits and flowers? The, the, the princess, princess must at all times and in all places have a guard of two. We take turns, sir. Indeed. 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 Indeed we do, and, and it was my turn next. So that was the last place you saw or heard from her? We haven't seen a stitch or heard a scratch or smelled a sniff or felt a flutter. So you have absolutely no idea where she could be? Please don't rub it in, sir. We failed her! Hey, chin's up, gang. See, it's not too late. I'm here to rescue the princess. right now. Excuse me, sir. Is that as big as you get? I think so. <laughs> hey, what's the problem? Pardon us, sir, but with your current arsenal, you'll be no match for the monster. You mean the big boss? The biggest. Well, where is he? Let me at him. I can take him. <laughs> <laughs> we love a good job, sir. Kid, they ain't fooling. This guy's nothing to sniff at. Brethren, sister, what of the fruit of added life? Ah! ah. Well, what's that? Our most rare and cherished crop. You'll need it indeed if you're to face the monster. That sounds great. Though its garden is guarded by oh. fire breathers. Less great. But we know a way. A, a secret, secret way! way. Sounds perfect. Let's go. Oh, wait. You'll need a guide. Perhaps one of us to show you the way and lead. I will lead them. Brave right, leader. Prophets have foretold of your courage. May safety hang over you and over your new friends. See them through shady veils, through skies of gray. Oh, we gotta go. Oh, okay. Bye. 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 See, this cardstock is just too thick. It really doesn't say elegance. <laughs> and we definitely should sit the Amble Brothers next to those Samurai sisters. <laughs> Am I right, Princess? Oh, Princess, I know you've been kidnapped, imprisoned, and forced to marry against your will, but can't you at least put on a happy face? After all, it's your wedding day. I'm sorry, Craig. You've put in a lot of work, and I'm actually pretty amazed at your eye for detail, but. This is all wrong. Even the environmentally friendly party favors? <laughs> I'm not one of those girls that dream of their wedding day, but I have at least thought about it now and then. And what is it, princess? Where is he, Craig? The boss? No. Oh, him. Yeah, I keep telling you it's extremely unlikely. It's However, not impossible. 
Well, nothing's impossible, princess. Do you really believe that, Craig? Oh, every minute it gets harder to believe. I gotta draw you another picture. I got it, and really anyone would have benefited from a map in that garden. Well, you just need a brain to watch this one. Got one of those, Kyle? Thanks. <laughs> hollow as a shell. Later, loser. Actually, shells aren't hollow. They're more... What'd you say to me? Uh, nothing, Hank. Now you're gonna talk your mouth off or guard this place. I, I, I know what to do. I'll be fine. Bad chance anything can happen out here anyway. Later, loser. Don't burn the place up. All right, Kyle, you're not a loser, even if you're not exactly a winner. <laughs> Your cousin Jeremy thinks you're funny, and he's three and a half. Very bright for his age. Oh, boy. Who am I kidding? I can't breathe fire, and no one thinks I'm scary, and, and I'm horrible with names. I, I think my cousin was actually mm, Gerald? If I hmm, could have swore I saw, ah, oh, crumbs, going to need a thicker pair of glasses again. What was that? Nothing. Ah, good. <laughs> it's like sometimes I wonder if I'll ever get, wait. Uh, 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 hi. No, hold it. I mean, yes, hi. <laughs> He can't see us if we don't move! Uh, I've got very thick glasses. I, I can see you fine, and, and you have to stop right there. As you say, friend. What did you call me? Don't look into his eyes, sir. He'll lose his terrible flames. Oh, you really think that? I mean, yeah, that's right, terrible flames. <laughs> don't on his head, kid. Maslow. Well, stay back or I'll throw this shell. Do your worst. Sir! Wait, please, friend. I really need this plant. Why do you keep calling me that? Grab it, kid. Sir! Stop! Sorry, mister, but... Oh, smokes, kick it, kid! Kick away, sir! Kick it? Yes! yes. Oh. oh! My back! Oh, my back! <laughs> Guys, what have I done? It was ever so daring! Nice work, kid. Oh, I hope that's a herniated disc, all right? <laughs> the fruit of added life is yours, sir. Buddy, grab it. Put this guy out of his misery. He's got it his last mushroom. Really? I think he's gonna... Oh, he's right. This is the end. <laughs> Please, mister. One quick stop in this dark, cruel world will all be over. I'm sure it'll heal. At least I died in the field of battle, facing my enemy. 
You'd think the shell would raise your fall a little. Kid, don't question the universe. Pluck, stomp, and run. Please, mister. Make it quick. Make it painless. I can't live to see him mock me again. They'll probably say Cutsy Kyle's tripped on his true oh The brutality of the <laughs> Whoa, what's happening? See, everything's fine. Get back, get back. I suppose you're not exactly afraid of me. Well, is that what you want? Mister, I... No, not really. Listen, kid, you're stirring the soul here and everything, but grab what we came here for. We gotta move. Indeed, sir. You'll need it to face the vile one. Wait a second. You don't mean the boss. We sure do. Do you know where he is? Don't spill the beans with this guy. Well, of course I do. I, I go there for my monthly performance review. <gasps> Oh, boy, that is not going to be good. I don't think so. Well, yeah, mister, you need that for starters. Excellent! What was that? It absorbs into your bloodstream. Whoa, I feel like I could take on the world. Let's do that, come on. Wait, Kyle. You know my name? What did you mean, for starters? Well, mister, you'd need it more than that shroom to stand with the boss. Uh, there's another plant. When you ain't too good at your job, guy. Ain't we the enemy? I, uh, I, I guess I don't know. You're a very strange monster. Look, Kyle, it doesn't seem like your friends would really miss you. How about you come yes. along with us? <laughs> Kid, what the shell are you doing? Come on, Kyle knows the way to the castle. We could use an inside angle. I suppose you're right, sir. Darlene would have a field day with this. Fine. Oh, well, thank you guys. I never had such a warm welcome. <laughs> I believe he's serious, sir. Kyle, tell me, what is this other plant? Well, mister, the way I see it, there's only one way to stand against the boss. What's, What's that? that? You fight fire with fire. <laughs> Unyielding, unwavering, and unbreakable. Basically, yeah. And you're feeding her? Did you give her the- They offered her the grilled salmon. She's not touching it. Don't be fooled. That's her favorite dish in the world. She's toying with it. I don't know, boss. She doesn't seem in the mood to eat. Well, Craig, I'm not in the mood to listen to you mouth off at all hours of the- I'm, I'm sorry. Gee, boss, I have feelings. <laughs> but does she, Craig? She'll come around, boss. You haven't told her? I swore I wouldn't. Good. <laughs> she has no idea the royal decree dictates that both parties must enter into matrimony only by complete consent. Neither party can be forced against his or her will, either by coercion, drugging, sarcasm, bribery. <laughs> <laughs> She's got no idea she has to agree to the thing. Craig, I thought you'd never stop talking. Too expositional by half. I'm working on that, sir. Enough. You've wasted plenty of time. Back to your post. As you say, boss. And let me know when she gives her consent. You mean yes? Yeah. Enough! Enough. Enough. She'll die before conceding. Retreat. Retreat. And pace the halls alone again. Why, Ma? 
must I always be so cold and strange and strong? station to guard it on my last job. Uh, supposedly, it, it enables the bearer to fuse with the great flame. A flick of his wrist turns his foes to ash and dust. Well, we've come this far. <laughs> Lead the way, Kyle. I, it should be just past uh, Roxanne over there. <laughs> Wish me luck. Not so fast. Whoa! Hey, Ricky, huh? look at what we've got here. A bunch of thieves trying to sneak into the boss's garden. Tell me, Rhonda, what's the punishment for trespassing these days? I think it's to be burnt like a steak. Do you burn your steaks, Rhonda? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm not one of those medium rare animals like you. <laughs> oh, Ricky, don't ever change. Well, we better get <laughs> going and we'll see you next time. <laughs> You're not going nowhere. Now, wait a minute. Kyle? <laughs> Clutch face, what are you doing over here? These warriors got you prisoner. Who'd pay a ransom for you, Kyle? You got that wrong, pal. We're his prisoners, all of us. He's right. We begged ever so terribly for mercy. Exactly. And they told me they'd have to take me to the fire flower, and then I'd have to eat the fire flower. Kind Zip of it, kid. <laughs> I don't know. Something doesn't smell right. You surrendered yourselves to Kyle the Clutz? <laughs> What's the plan? Slow oh, by a time, kid. You got any ideas, little mushy? Well, there's this ancient song of the gods. Say the word. No. Oh, why'd you bring this scum all the way over here? Uh, I, uh, I guess I hadn't weighed out every, what's the word? Contingency. <laughs> Contingency of the kidnapping process. You gave yourselves up to this tamarind stutterer? I don't believe it. Me neither. I said it could. Like steaks. Mushy, sing the song. Sir? Cover your ears, fellas.
be right over there. <laughs> <laughs> there it is, mister. Wallby. Isn't, Isn't it beautiful? beautiful? You ready, kid? <laughs> Am I? The, the guards could come back at any minute. Oh, oh, for the princess, sir! is riddled with mines. I'll lead the way. Consider me disposable, sir. <laughs> Don't say that, miss, please. Could you draw us a map? <laughs> I could give directions to Clutch Face, but he might trip and pop. <laughs> His name is Kyle Klingenheimer. You have no idea what he's capable of. Neither do I. <laughs> <laughs> what if I trip us up? I could. Give him the directions, Ricky. We're in good hands. Well, kid, it's a good lead. Yes. We're almost there. I can feel it. You might be right, kid. What are you going to do when you find the princess, sir? <laughs> do? A little uh, smooch smooch? An elegant waltz. Oh, boy. You know, I've hardly had time to really think about it. Time to start, kid. What if I found my princess to have and hold? What if I found my princess, my heart of gold? And would I search forever and turn? Constant. 
consternation Where has she gone? And yet She's still My pet Half of a world away A world Princess, no time to chat. Someone put limes in the lemonade. It's a total disaster. That's terrible. Yeah, no matter how many times you torture these cooks, they're always on edge. <laughs> cooks. But you don't have to be on edge, Princess. Your special day is going to go off without a hitch. Not by the looks of it, Craig. What? Your tie. Come here. Let me fix it. How do I look? You know, you really could go into modeling someday. Oh, princess, you're the best. And I can see why the boss wants to force you to marry him. Well, I gotta go. Sorry. <laughs> Why do you think the wedding's at midnight? Um, because you sleep in so late? Well, why does everyone keep saying that? I I'm a morning person. I'm super driven. Sorry. <laughs> the wedding's at midnight so that both kingdoms had time to object. Not my idea. It's the law. So you're stifling objections there's, now. There's nothing to stifle, Rose. He hasn't as much as raised a flag. Maybe he doesn't know how? I have men stationed across the whole countryside. Nothing. Oh, you enjoy torturing me. No, I don't. I... I, I really like you, Rose. Quite possibly even like like you. Well, why, why kidnap me then? I kidnap. That's my thing. You know how much I love kidnapping. <laughs> Can't you think of other people for once? Like, maybe like the people you kidnap? I don't think about other people, Rose. That's my problem. But, but you, you could teach me. Rose, are you? I'm not going to force you to stay here any longer. But the person you think you're waiting for, he doesn't exist. I don't, I... Hero or no, I've known you long enough, Rose. Only I can make you what you really want to be. What on earth is that? A queen. I don't know, guys. Something isn't right. Let's get out of here. I'm afraid your journey is through. Whoa. No. I'll take that. Save yourself, sir! Who are you? Well, some have called me queen, goddess, nightmare. But we all know how men like to exaggerate. Her name is Villanessa. The boss said you were dead. Well, he's never been so good with breakups, has he? <laughs> Although I do hear he has found just the loveliest little lady. Oh, no. What are you saying? Oh, oh they told me you're gullible, but you're an absolute sapling, aren't you? Don't listen to her, sir. Your soldiers may have to brace your fall, son. The truth is, your princess would much rather marry a, a good-for-nothing, wart-faced monster than you. <laughs> Why are you lying like that, you, you witch? Silence, brown ogre! Slurs of the patriarchy are not welcome here. Slabs of the what? I am many things, but I am no liar. It's true. His princess is set to marry the monster at midnight. That's some nice alliteration. Expect nothing lesser from Miss Villanessa. She's good. <laughs> She's awful! Is it true, Maslow? Kid, I don't know. It's over. Well, there's always the priesthood, son. <laughs> <laughs> if you ask me, 
Something's awfully peculiar. Uh, the boss always said the worst things about Princess Rose. How she's too soft and how he wants her kingdom. And just, oh no! What is it, miss? If they do marry, then he'll have everything from Thundervale to Sunnyside! Of course the wisest among you is a woman. <laughs> must have been his plan all along. And there's not a minute to wait. Let's go. Oh no, not you too, Turtle Dog. Just another arrogant man, after all. Did you really think the princess could ever love someone like you? <laughs> Do you even work part time? <laughs> <laughs> Look, I don't know what's real anymore, but I'm not going to see this whole world fall apart. We're off. Oh, where are my manners? You're off, all right, in chains. <laughs> what? Oh, Rouser and I may have had our differences in the past, but I think a new world order is just my cup of tea. Yes, you'll be the monsters, prisoners, and guests all in one. You vile one! Oh, not vile, Missy. Call me Villanessa. Guys! Oh, boy. What are we going to do, kid? We're going to go quietly. I've got an idea. A monster and a woman. <laughs> One that unites the kingdom and forever. Pick it up, Craig. All right, uh, boss, do you take the princess to be your lawfully wedded queen? I do. Oh, we already, Slugger. What? Nessa, I thought I told you never to come back here. Oh, and what? Have an intern do my dirty work? No, your prisoners and I wouldn't have missed this for the world. Prisoners? Oh, that's right, Highness. I caught them trying to escape the kingdom. Escape? No. It's true. We were making a break for the fields. I've been waiting for you. The sweet berry sugar plum fields. See, well, you deserve to be prisoners then. Oh, boss, I was worried no one would show, but I'd love an RSVP. <laughs> <laughs> Kyle? Hey, Craig. You remember this guy's name? Hard to forget. He's, He's my, my brother. brother. Back to the ceremony, Craig? <laughs> right, sorry. Uh, princess, do you take this monster? Wait, the bride isn't holding any flowers. Every bride needs a flower. I knew I forgot something. Brave Alina! No! <laughs> 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 Time for your performance review. Let me think. Sorry, but you're fired! <laughs> I thought that was your first name. I'm just saying. 
Some girls don't like having flames hurled at their faces. I certainly didn't. And the next thing said. I'm sorry. I had allergies, Nessa. You know how awful my sneezes get. Well, I'm just, so you never said anything. You left before I, I could explain. Explain what? That I need help. Someone to tell me when and when not to sneeze fire, torture cooks, and kidnap villagers. Mother, you need so much help. Then help me, Nessa. <laughs> oh, blast it all! What are you doing? It's the third act, Nessa, and we haven't much time. <laughs> Can I be your king? I they really hurt, honey. That's all I needed to hear. <laughs> I'm so happy for you guys. <laughs> Princess, you're free. Oh, thanks to all of you. No, miss, you saved us. It was awfully impressive, Princess. What on earth brought all of you together? This guy, he's got the hots for you, toots. Sir! I mean, your highness. Well, I just <laughs> never really gave up. Me neither. Where did you have in mind? Take me to your world. I'm ready for a change. Go on, kid. Well, this might sound cheesy, but I'd be nowhere without you guys. I love you all so much. Yep, that was pretty cheesy, kid. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you have ever so much fun. Take care of yourselves. You? You be good to her. <laughs> <laughs> Go stomp on some heads for me. Well, I owe you guys everything. We'll be back. Bye. 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 down the street? Oh, we must have had him switch then. Uh, you'll need Brad's copy. Oh, you know, don't worry about it. I don't really care. Oh, I thought you two were... Oh, uh, well, thanks. I should probably start studying. Um, do you want to do a little together? Yeah, sure. Look, I know the weather's a little crazy out there, but would you mind getting out of here? I've been a little... In your cell a little too long? Yeah. Cool. Do you want to go to Maslow's? What? You know that little diner down on Darlene Street? Oh, I love their cream of mushroom soup. <laughs> <laughs> sure, after you. Well, better bundle up. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs>